I'm still struggling to learn the front lever, and y'all aren't clicking on my climbing videos. So let's try something new. So far, I have had 5 videos with over 1 million views, and I will show you how much ad revenue I have earned from each of them. For my most viewed 30 day hangboard challenge video, it has had around 4.6 million views so far, and the total ad revenue is around $4,900. For my muscle up video, it has had around 2.8 million views so far, and the total ad revenue is around $2,800. For my hang challenge video, it has had around 1.4 million views so far, and the total ad revenue is around $1,800. For my handstand video, it has had around 1.2 million views so far, and the total ad revenue is around $1,000. For my poor my wife video, it has had around 1.9 million views so far, and the total ad revenue is around $1,400. I know what some of you are thinking, life is not fair. This guy is making thousands of dollars by filming himself doing his own hobby, and yet I have to work a boring 9 to 5 day job. Well. It's extremely difficult to create a video that hit a million views. And guess what? I still have a day job working as a software engineer. If you look carefully at the numbers, I made only around 0.74 to 1.32 dollars per 1000 views. A lot of my videos get only around 20,000 views, which means I only made around 20 dollars from each of them. But it took hours and hours to film and edit all these videos. I know some of you might be wondering, why do the earnings per 1000 views for your videos seem kinda low? Yes, and here's why. The ad rate is determined by the number of advertisers who want to show their ads on my videos. They have to bid each other and offer the highest price so their ads can be shown. In other words, more competition means it's more expensive to show the ads, which also means I will make more money per 1000 views. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of businesses competing to advertise on climbing and calisthenics videos. They rather advertise on videos like finance, investing, tech, and entrepreneurship type of videos because they are more profitable. For example, Graham Stephan made up to $10 per 1000 views for his finance and investing channel. Simply put, people are willing to spend money more on figuring out how to be better at making money than on getting better at climbing or calisthenics. There are ways to increase the earnings per 1000 views by extending the video to 10, 20, or even 3 minutes in order to have more ads inserted into the video. But to be honest, if you want to start a climbing or calisthenics channel, you have to find a motivation other than making money. For myself, initially the motivation was simply to get better at English, and then it slowly transitioned to wanting to show the world that geeks can also be cool and athletic. That's why I always kept my shirt and glasses on. Nowadays it becomes that I want to prove to the world that for average climbers like myself, who will never get sponsored by major climbing brands like the pros, can figure out a way to build a viable business through YouTube. I'm still in the very early stage of this process, and be sure to check out my website geekclimber.com and join my email list if you are curious about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.